Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and I've been joined by a very special guest, Mike Selinker, hey. president of Lone Shark Games. Uh -huh. Great to see you again. You've got something a little different here. Yeah, this is going to be the first time I think we've done a Watch It Played video for a book. Yes, it but, is. <laughs> but uh, it's a very different kind of book, so I thought we'd show it off and see if people uh, like it. I was very intrigued. This is a, uh, it's called The Maze of Games. Yep. You had this on Kickstarter, correct? Yeah, uh, we did a campaign last year. I'd had this book in my head uh, and and in my hard drive kicking around for uh, 18 years. Um, just sort of a draft version. Nothing like what finally came out, but just, you know, I had this idea and I wanted to do it. And, and then Kickstarter happened and crowdsourcing and non-linear narrative structure and all these kind of crazy things that were going on at the same time. I'm like, I could totally write this book now. And I put it out there. I was hoping a few people might want it. Um, we set our goal at sixteen thousand dollars. We raised one hundred and seventy thousand wow. dollars. I mean, it was just, it was. It, people really liked it, and so now it's. It took us a long time to get it done, um, but now it's finally out, and I get to show it off to people. Well, I think this is interesting, Mike, because uh, a lot of people, particularly who would watch my show, would know you from the board gaming side. Yeah, from right? the Pathfinder Adventure card game and Betrayal at House on the Hill exactly. and, and all that kind of stuff. So this is, but you also have had a passion for puzzles for yes. a long time, right? Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Uh, I started, you know, I started when I was like 13 years old and I didn't know any better. So I sent in uh, a puzzle to Games Magazine and they printed it. And I sent in a puzzle to Dragon Magazine and they printed it. And I sent in something in the New York Times and they printed it. Like That must have been a thrill. Yeah, yeah. I was just walking right? around, like, you know, 15 years old. I was, I'm in the New York Times. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I just, it was, it was this incredible validation as I was a kid and I just kept at it and I kept making new kinds of puzzles and, and uh, uh, eventually I wrote a couple of puzzle books and and uh, that got me to, to this crazy thing. Yeah, and this, well, let's talk about this crazy thing for, for a minute here. So we've got pages and pages of yeah. puzzles here, right? Yeah, so basically it's a novel. Yes. Um, so, and, and just like a novel, it's got, you know, it's got uh, a beginning and an end. Yeah. Uh, you know, the characters, Colleen and Sam, they, they go into this library and they meet this uh, skeletal guardian Ooh. named the Gatekeeper. Okay. Right, and it's all, it's all very well and good. We're gonna go on a little adventure. And then everything kind of gets a little nuts because immediately they start to get all these puzzles and you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll solve the puzzle that the character encounters. Except then we get to the maze and the maze says the rest of the book is gonna be in the wrong order. Really? It's a solve your own adventure. No so, way. Yeah, so you have to figure out where you go next and and put the story back in the right order. If you read it left to right, you're gonna go, what is going on, <laughs> right? But so you go, right, and every two page spread, there's a, there's a story. Uh, these illustrations are by my friend Pete Venters. They're really amazing. So there's story throughout this. Yeah, whole it's a book. full novel. So you, you like you might go here and you solve this particular puzzle, and it tells you, and, and then go back to the maze and figure out the next next wow. thing to go, and then you continue along. You meet pirates and werewolves and vampires and everything, and uh, and then um, and then you get through that maze and you get uh, you you figure out your way out, and then. Bang! You're in another maze, and it's more complicated. And now you're flipping around, trying to go to the next thing, and trying to go in the other order, and then get through that, and try to make that make sense. And then, you know, it's like, okay, finally got out of that one. Well, sure enough, that there's continues, another. and uh, now we're in the water maze, and there's mermaids, and this is a very different kind of, different kind of maze here. Um, uh, you go through, you you find Merlin's spell book, you you do this, and then all of a sudden, well, I probably shouldn't spoil where you go last. <laughs> For sure, keep but, it music, or but uh, <laughs> up in the clouds and and all that. Uh, so in, in, the, in terms of the story, is it the children who are trying to solve this? Yeah, they're trying to get out. I'm a little concerned for these children, because really, first of all, well, don't go trusting the guy with the hood, the bony fingers. No, uh, it's a bad call. It's a bad call. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, yes, I completely agree. Uh, he doesn't seem all too concerned whether he or you ever get out alive. Right, right. So, well, I guess that's why we're here, right? To help these exactly, poor kids. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So you get to the end, and there's, 
there's, and that's how the, that's how the novel works. Um, there's all sorts of hidden puzzles. There's all sorts of Easter eggs. Um, and then in the back, we have something pretty special. Um, now, if we hadn't done a Kickstarter, the book would probably be about this long. Because only? Only that long. Only that, that long, yeah. <laughs> because, because that would have been the whole novel. But because we were crowdfunding, we were like, OK, we need to do something that really makes people excited. And so I thought, what if we got all of my favorite puzzle makers, all the ones that I idolize and work with, um, and got them to write a puzzle book for the characters in the book? as if it were 1897. Oh, wow, right? okay. So it's the characters in the, the puzzle book that the characters in the book have. Yes. And so, so we got just an amazing group of people. Um, we got Will Shorts, the editor of the New York Times. We got Ken Jennings, the Jeopardy champion. We got all the great puzzle makers, all the great logic people, the, uh, Cliff Johnson, who did the Fool's Errand. Um, just amazing stuff. And I mean, this is what it looks like, right? I mean, it's all these sort of like, like, uh, looking toward the future, let's free the moon zeppelin, right? <laughs> right. Let's let's uh, go to Flatland. Uh, James Wallace does the world's first role-playing game, right? Um, and uh, so this this craziness uh, was. I mean, every day a new puzzle would come in by by a legendary puzzle maker, and I was just just blown away by it. It's one of the most creative things I've ever been a part this of. This must have been really, really wonderful for you. Very fulfilling, right? To oh, be doing something like this. Without any question. This was the, um, this, this is the, I've done many great things, but this is the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah, that's, uh, I can tell it has a real, a real personal connection. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. It I mean, a lot that and, way. and I mean, everybody has been waiting for it for so long. Like, it's not like I, it's not like I sprung this on people. It was, it was, I'd been talking about it for years. They're like, when are you going to write this? When yeah. are you going to actually do this book? I'm like, well, there's always next year. <laughs> sure. There's always, a, no, this time, this time I'm doing it. And, uh, and uh, the response has been amazing. It just showed up at our, our warehouse this week. So it's going out to people, and people will be able to get copies of it uh, on our ordering site. Uh, really, really excited about okay, it. OK, so if you didn't back, if you missed the Kickstarter, yeah, we it's going to be available. We'll give uh, people the, the link, and they can uh, go, get, go get copies of it. I think it's going to be great. Well, I'm, I'm curious uh, you know, if, if I had this, uh, and I want to do something like this with my son. Yeah. He's, he's 10. Yeah, no, it's you good know, start. Like, great. He may, he may really empathize with the kids that are trapped in the Right, maze. right. Resonate there. What do you think about the difficulty level? Are we going to be OK for the yeah. first few pages? Like, <laughs> the is, first is, few it, pages. Does it ramp up? Like, how's, how it does ramp it? up. It starts out, It starts out. I wouldn't say easy, but it starts out like uh, uh, lightly challenging, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. Um, uh, like the first maze isn't too difficult. And then it, it gets it going. It gets it going. Um, it takes... Uh, 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 it takes itself pretty seriously toward the end. Right. Uh, I need to call on the rest of my family to help. Yeah, out. I think you might need a rescue <laughs> rescue mission. Um, we've got actually a couple other um, neat things about it. Uh, this is the physical book, but there's um, going to be an electronic version of the game of okay. the book. Uh, you can solve it on the Pizzazz app with your finger on really? your iPad um, and so forth. And uh, we're going to have an audiobook version of it, uh, which is narrated by my friend Will Wheaton. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Will, Will does a, a really great job with it. Um, that's that's uh, going to be available shortly. So I think it's going to be a real experience for people. And I, you know, I'm just personally super thrilled to finally have it out and in people's hands. Well, I, that certainly comes through. Thanks a lot for taking the time to, to share this with us. And, Absolutely. And I hope, uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing it as well. Until cool. the next episode, thanks for watching.